everyone. I am Sarah the Rainbow Hearted Witch. Thank you for joining me on another walkthrough and really a flip through of another Oracle deck. So we're trying a new setup. We'll see how it works out. This is requested by my sister Heather. She wanted to see me and the cards. Usually I just have um, a camera set up where I flip the cards and you just hear my voice, which I prefer that because then I don't have to wear makeup. And I usually just paint my nails or put um, fake nails on or whatever. And then it's easy peasy. Um, I am thinking this is my first time ever applying false lashes. I use the magnetic type and my eyes itch so bad. I want to scratch my eyeballs off. Um, so I'm not sure. I probably won't be wearing false eyelashes again. Um, and I'm thinking if I wear makeup, it might be really minimal. Um, I used to enjoy putting makeup on for these videos. It helped me like get into my creativity and, um, it goes with the colors. Like I love playing with color with my clothes, as you see, um, Maybe it's just because I live in the country and I'm getting a little lazy where I don't even really like to get dressed, let alone wear a bra or makeup, that <laughs> to have to transition to like put a full face of makeup on is just like, ugh. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe it's just my mood today and maybe I'll try it again, but I had my makeup done, it was like perfect and then I tried to put these false lashes on and I I messed it up bad. I had to kind of redo it. But anyway, you're not here for that. You guys are here to see the flip through of the Camelot Oracle. It says, A Quest for Wisdom Through the Arthurian World. This is by John Matthews with illustrations by Will Worthington. Comes in a nice box. So this is not one of my um, decks. This is actually one of Nikolai's decks and um, he's not going to keep it. So there's a like swap meet, but for witchy things, the ninth house on coming up for next Friday. I think that's the 20th um, of July. So we are probably going to take this. So that's why I'm gonna do kind of a walkthrough of this and a flip through. Um, so I can go pick up some new decks to walk through of. So it comes with this really nice book. The book is hundred and twenty eight pages and so um, it says the book has the introduction Camelot and the land adventurous Camelot and the lands adventurous let's see who published this book the publishing house that put this out is Connections Book Publishing Limited. It's out of London. Um, so it says part one, Camelot and the Lands Adventurous. Part two, the archetypes. And part three is the paths. And then part four is the places. Part five, working with the Camelot Oracle. It says then other characters, resources, the author and artist, and acknowledgements. So I just kind of flipped through this really quickly um, earlier today. I haven't actually worked with it. I know Nikolai worked with it with a couple of times. He just didn't vibe with it, which we all have those decks we just don't vibe with. It comes with this um, sheet. It's a tarot layout, so you can put your cards. It's a nine card spread. It says map of the lands adventurous so it's a pretty big sheet so that's in there 
And then we have the cards. It's interesting, so I'll show you over here. It has the copyright on the top and the bottom, so you can't really tell if you have a reversal or not. The back's really simple. And I'm not gonna try to say the names or anything like that. And I'm not, these cards are all like mixed up. So we'll just flip through. So are there any decks that you guys work with um, or that you were really excited to purchase and then you got it and you just couldn't connect with the deck? I know I had a heart-centered one that I just couldn't connect with and I gifted it to my dear friend Kate and I know she absolutely loves it. So I love re-gifting um, decks because just because it doesn't work for you doesn't mean it won't work for somebody else. Um, we all are different energetically and what connects with our soul. So that's why this swap meet, this witchy meet, <laughs> witchy meet, witchy swap meet is really cool because you can bring um, tarot cards, crystals, uh, tools, um, clothes, anything. And, um, you know, if you don't connect with it or you're done, served its purpose, and you want to try something new, you can. And I love that. I think that's such a cool thing. So we're gonna um, take, he has another deck too, and we'll, we're gonna take that and I'm gonna see if I have anything um, that I can take as well. I just have such a hard time letting things go. Um, <laughs> but I know, you know, it's like, I'd rather have somebody who's going to use it and enjoy it um, than have it just collect dust with me. It's interesting that they did these cards in black and white where all the other cards are um, colored. Now these are the path cards. Um, I think I like the concept of this um, deck, but we're gonna do like a single card pull and just read the book and what it says, just to get an idea. Um, because like I said, I have not worked with this deck. I had just flipped through it, looked at what's, what was um, in the book. And, and the, how the cards looked that was it so I'm gonna cleanse the deck since it's not mine so you put it in your non-dominant hand knock and then what I like to do bless it by holding it up to my heart chakra I'm actually giving it Reiki with this my right hands as I entrain it to my heart and I'm calling in my guides and archangels to bless this deck and to guide me um, for the highest good, my highest good. All right, so um, just I'm gonna do just one card. Um, how will this video do on YouTube? Let's see how that. Is. Feel like a 78 card deck it feels like really so the cards are more matte than glossy I don't know if you can see that they're not very glossy 
they're pretty thin, pretty bendable, pretty bendable. Um, I don't feel like 78 cards. Let me see what it says. So it says, enter a mystical landscape peopled with archetypal characters and rich in myth and legend. The world of King Arthur and his knights of the round table. The universal appeal of the Arthurian tales lies in their primal quality. They deal with every aspect of human life, from the eternal struggle to overcome obstacles to the continuing search for fulfillment. Working with the oracle cards and the map of the land adventurous, you will travel from Camelot with your champion and companion on your quest. Your chosen path leads to a place of significance where your challenge awaits waits to hear your questions, where your challenger waits to hear your questions. Consulting the guidebook will reveal the answers and guidance you require. The Camelot Oracle explores <laughs> The Camelot Oracle explores inner realms and takes you on an unforgettable journey, the journey of life itself. It says, okay, 128 page illustrated guidebook, 40 beautiful cards on an illustrated and an illustrated map. Okay, so it shows you everything on the back. Okay. So you can see it right there. So, okay, let's see what card. So yeah, I knew I was like, this feels really I feel like I'm missing cards. So 40 compared to 78, that's that's quite a lot smaller. I'm not sure why we did not do a full 78 card deck. Now I'm second guessing myself. It's 78 cards, right? Yeah, 78 is a full um, tarot deck, so. Whew, quite a bit smaller. So yeah, that's that's a con right there. The book is beautiful though. 128 pages. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. So the card for today for how will my um, how will this video do? I have the doubtful path. Let's see what it says about the doubtful path. It says leading to the hermitage symbol, a worn out wooden bowl cracked around the rim. This is a difficult road for many of us because as well as doubtful, it is often hard to find. It may fill you with doubt about your own abilities and accomplishments. It is a road of choices, not always easy to see or make. And yet it brings you to the hermitage, a place of contemplation and reassessment where you may stay for a while away from the noise and the stresses of your everyday life, where you may seek the inner wisdom and strength that you already possess but may find hard to access. With this, you are prepared to set your feet on the road again. Well, that's interesting because that sounds like my life. I am literally uh, took the path to the Hermitage, this new house in the country. And um, yeah, it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. And um, But regaining balance within... Um, myself has been really nice um let's get pull another card i've already taken a break from making youtube videos my family was here for three weeks my parents were here visiting checking out the new home and area and community and um I met more people and talked to more people while my parents were here than before they came. Um, my dad is just a very outgoing, friendly person, and so is my mother. So, yeah, it was really nice getting to meet neighbors. Um, all right. Pelinor. 
I guess, is the name of this one. Let's see what it says, what Palinor says. It's good that the um, cards in the main part of the book are alphabetized. So it's easy to find. All right. So Palinor, aspect, perseverance, qualities, honor, strength, purposefulness, honesty, and challenge. Palinor is the lord of Listenois, a remote part of the land adventurous, and was one of the first to join the round table. His first meeting with Arthur was unfortunate as they ended up fighting each other. Though this person, who I don't want to keep butchering his name, because I'm not really into Arthur Arthurian myths, so I'm sorry, I apologize, I, I can't pronounce these names. Um, he was unaware that he was fighting his king, a tough, grizzled warrior. He fathered eight sons, all of them knights of the round table, and one daughter. The most famous of his sons were, I'm not even naming them, so anyway, the latter being one of the successful grail winners. His chief task was to, the pursuit of the questing beast, though how he came to be involved. Okay, this is way too wordy. I really, I don't care. Um, I'm going to skip all over all of that. I don't care about the lore of who he is. So if you're into Arthurian myth, maybe this would appeal to you. Um, it doesn't to me at all. So Pelinor as champion, as your champion, I place my strength, my courage, and my wisdom at your service. I will stand with you in whatever task you undertake with me at your side. You will never encounter any force greater than your own. Never meet with a task too hard to accomplish. Never fail to understand the reason for your task, the causes of your trials, or the need to reconsider any action you take. So that's him as champion and then as challenger. So I'm thinking that that's if it was reversed, if you read reversals. So it says, Grail Castle, how do you understand the true purpose of this journey? The wells, why has this challenge arisen now? What circumstance in your life brought you to this place? How will you feel about this a week from now? Where did this circumstance begin? What are some of the better ways to proceed? What directions are available for you to take? And who is your outer world champion? And then for a meditation, it says, just as Arthur found Polinor sleeping under a tree, though ever ready for combat, so might you. Remember, this is a hardened warrior, so approach with care. But do not put off by his stern exterior. He possesses a grim humor and is devoted to helping those in need you will find if you spend time with him that he knows a great deal about human suffering and is full of practical advice yeah i understand why he's getting rid of this um nikolai's into arthurian mythology and he still couldn't connect with it it's um i think it would be a good practice like meditation practice a deck to meditate with um it's, it's a cool like concept to have the layout um, with this as like, it's your quest, you know, it's like a visual, like if you want that, like, you know, well, how am I on my path, you know, where am I at? But um, yeah, this deck, it just doesn't speak to my soul either. So um, we were thinking about saving the decks and doing once I hit a thousand subscribers doing a giveaway but since I'm not even close to 100 who knows how long that will be so I think we're gonna um swap these at the witchy swap meet <clears throat> all right tell me what you think about this deck do you guys do anyone of you own it have you worked with it um how do you use it do you enjoy it? Do you connect with it? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and please subscribe. I will be uploading videos every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Arizona time. Bye, guys.